I said the other day, I felt a vibration in my pocket and I thought my phone was ringing. Turned out it was a nerve in my leg twitching. But it got me thinking, what if your body parts could actually call your brain? Yeah, hello? Uh, this is your belly button? Yes? Man, what's with all the layers? I want to see some daylight. Listen, man, I talked to you if you get some of that lint out of your mouth. Yeah, hello? Uh, this is your right foot. Will you stop squishing me, please, Mr. NASCAR? You're speedy, aren't you? Hey, listen, you can easily be replaced by something called cruise control. I gotta get this call, hello? Yeah, man, this is your pancreas. My what? Your pancreas. I'm the guy that converts all those sugars you keep sending down. Uh, yeah, what can I do for you? What can you do for me? You can send some things down like vitamins or vegetables or water. Did you ever think of water? Well, I have a little bit of problem with water. You have a problem with... Oh, prostate, oh. My wife's been... <laughs> trying to get me to go on a diet. You know, the first three letters of diet is spelled die. Right? In fact, she said to me the other day, she said, Honey, it just dawned on me that there's 70 pounds of you that I'm not legally married to. Uh, that was painful. Very proud of my wife. She exercises three times a week. She rides a stationary bike bolted to the floor, going nowhere. <laughs> I did that exercise with her once for an hour. It almost killed me. I was so faint afterwards, I felt like I heard a voice, a thin kind of Jane Fonda workout voice saying, come toward the light. I've got a friend who says he doesn't use exercise machines. He says, my body is my machine. My body is my machine. You know, if that were true, I think my machine body got stuck somewhere between the Edsel and the Pet Rock. In fact, I think I'll go out and grease my machine body with a Krispy Kreme donut. You. you know, they have a Gold's Gym. Why don't they have a, a, a Silver's Gym for seniors? You know, instead of a bench press, why don't they have like a bench warming where the test is to see how long you can sit there without falling asleep? Instead of pull-ups, they could have you power lift some boxes of depends. <laughs> and instead of a treadmill, they'd have a bread mill where you just sample various baked goods. <laughs> I did the stair climber once. You could actually choose a set of world-famous steps as your program. I chose the steps of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And afterwards, I went out and attacked the stationary stack of pizza. <laughs> I do exercise, by the way. In fact, one of the exercises that's my favorite is counting the number of items that are in the grocery cart of the person in front of me in the express checkout lane. <laughs> So I was in Kroger's the other day, and uh, there was a lady in front of me, and she had three loud, out-of-control children. And I finally, I just couldn't take it any longer, and so I, I tapped her on the shoulder, and I said, I, I'm really sorry to bother you, but and you have three extra items in your basket. You saw the sign, right? She said, what? I said, the sign, it said 15 items or less. So, ma'am, do the right thing. Take three of those items back. If you won't take them back, I'll take them back for you. Or I can watch your children while you take them back. But the children are watching. Do the right thing. <laughs> then security came. The next day when they let me back into Kroger's, they put up a sign over the express lane that said, about 15 items. <laughs> What is the world coming to? My wife and I have been married for 44 years.
44 years of marital bliss, 43 for me, and one for her, and hers wasn't all in a row. It was just a few days scattered here and, and there. She said to me one Mother's Day, she said, let's not go out for dinner. It's very expensive. I don't mind cooking if you'll help me clean the house. So I said, okay, sure, no problem. So I went to clean the basement, and when I came up, she's in the dining room, and there was this awful, awful stench. And I said, honey, what are you doing? She said, I'm waxing the dining room table. I said, with what? She said, with pledge, and held up a can of Raid. I said, honey, you forgot your glasses again, didn't you? Well, we had no Palmetto bugs that meal. <laughs> We are both getting older, and uh, I hit my 65th birthday just about a week ago. <laughs> it took a fire extinguisher to put out the candles. And as we're both growing older together, I think we're both pretty much a fall risk. And, and a winter, spring, and summer risk as well. <laughs> my wife called me at work the other day, and she said, Honey, I think there's water in the car's carburetor. I said, honey, you don't even know what a carburetor is. Where did you park the car? She said, in her pool. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Be great. Appreciate it.